वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर टू इन द अर्लियर क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट फ्रेज इज एंड व्हाट क्लॉज इज वी गॉट टू नो व्हाट दे आर इन डिटेल्स वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन नाउन फ्रेज नाउन क्लॉज एडजेक्टिव फ्रेज एडजेक्टिव क्लॉज एडवर्ब फ्रेज एंड एडवर्ब क्लॉज In today's class, we will be discussing the different types of adverb phrases. The different types of adverb phrases. Now let's come see. There are different kinds of adverb phrases and adverb clauses. See, adverb phrase number one, adverb phrase of manner. tells us how the action is done tells us in what manner the action is done for example rajat smile in a warm manner rajat smile in a warm manner how how did rajat smile in a warm manner adverb phrases of place tells us where the action is done tells us where the action is done it tells about the place where we were looking for you in every possible place in every possible place we were looking for you in every possible place where in every possible place is the adverb phrase adverb phrases of time tells us when the time when the action is done okay flowers emit fragrance during the day when during the day so adverb phrase of manner tells us how the action is done phrase of place tells us where the action is done and adverb phrase of time tells us when the action is done next see there are different types of adverb clauses what are adverb clauses different types of adverb clauses an adverb clause of time shows the time of action shows when the action is done see the match was stopped when it started to rain the match was stopped when it started to rain see it is usually introduced by when while as wherever before after before or since we can change the sentence as the match was stopped since it started to rain or after it started to rain an adverb clause of place shows the place of action an adverb clause of place shows where the action took place i looked for you wherever i could wherever i could see the difference between the phrase and the clause in adverb phrase of place in every possible place see in every possible place in this we are not adding the clause but when it is about the clause adverb clause of place shows wherever i could wherever i could this is the clause difference between adverb phrase and adverb clause the adverb clause of manner shows the manner of action it seems as if he had been lost it seems as if he had been lost now an adverb clause of reason shows the reason behind the action gives the reason behind the action done she went to office because her boss wanted to meet her she went to office because her boss wanted to meet her next adverb of clause adverb of clause of comparison indicates a comparison of qualities it is cooler than it was yesterday see it is comparing it is comparing between two day two days it is cooler than it was yesterday an adverb clause is a group of word which contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of an clear okay now see relative clauses 
Till now, we learned about noun phrase, noun clause, adjective phrase, adjective clause, adverb phrase and adverb clause. And now it is relative clause, relative clause. See, a relative clause tells us which person or thing is referred to by the speaker. Means it is referring, it is referring to a thing like an object, a thing has uh, is being referred to by the speaker. It can also indicate what kind of person or the thing the speaker means. Words like who, which, that are introduced are used for introducing it. It is often an adjective clause which describes a noun or a pronoun. Generally, this relative clause is an adjective clause not always but most of the time because it describes a noun or a pronoun now see how how we will use this relative clauses use of who using who who we use who in a relative clause when we discuss about people when any people when our person are meant we use who the girl who scored the highest mark in English is my sister. The girl who scored. See, the word who is referring to the girl. Is referring to the girl. The girl who scored the highest mark in English is my sister. The cat that jumped is in while. The cat that jumped is in while. Sometimes we can use that also instead of who. Use of which and that. We use that and which when we refer to things and not people. That and which are used to refer to things, to objects and not people. For person, especially for person, we use who. For things, animal, we use that or which. Okay. I arranged the books that were scattered on the desk. He owns a factory which manufactures car. Okay. Now use of that. That can be used in place of which and who. But sometimes the word is used in specific cases. After adjective in superlative degree. It is generally used after adjective in superlative degree. Superlative degree means the third degree of adjective. He is one of the best physicians that I know of. See best. Good, better, best. Third degree of adjective. He is one of the best physician that I know of. This is the most shocking news that I have heard. We can use that after words like all, anything, none, nothing. This is all that she has. This is all that she has. Is there anything that I can do? See, we are using the word that after all, anything. That is used for referring to person and a thing. To both a person and a thing. He saw a bird that flew up in the sky. He saw a bird that flew up in the sky. Okay. Now, let's come to your exercises. Uh, the first one, encircle the phrases and underline the clause in the following group of words. You have to encircle the phrases. In particular, in given sentences, you will be un encircling the phrase. You will making a circle around the phrase and you will be underlining the clause. For example, Tarun lives in the house across the road. So, across the road is my phrase. Is my phrase. So, you will be encircling it. Preeti was sleeping when we called her. Preeti was sleeping when we called her. We are using the word when. So this is my clause. So we will be underlining when we called her. And the next one will be your homework. Now come to B. State whether the color words are noun clause or noun phrase. You have to see whether they are noun phrase or noun phrase clause she knew that she was unwell she knew that she was unwell this is my noun clause number two he knew of his sickness he knew of his sickness noun phrase the next three will be your homework number c underline the adverbial clause in the given sentence adverbial clause in the given sentence 
he came late because he missed the bus because he missed the bus so this is my adverbial clause adverbial clause i wake up before my alarm rings i wake up before my alarm rings what is this this will be your adverb of adverb clause okay the next you will be doing as your homework and number d fill up the blanks with adjective clause this will be completely your homework okay for today up to this much the rest we will be starting the next chapter in your next class till then study properly and stay home stay safe